Over 1,000 financiers, exploration companies, government officials, landowners and business leaders attended the first day of the 16th conference in Sydney yesterday. It's been three years of uncertainty, but the stakeholders are happy to be back face-to-face in real time. Papua New Guinea's message to the world is the country has five major projects coming up, including the Papua LNG project, Wafigopu, Pasca, the reopening of the Pogera gold mine and Pinyan gas. In a packed room, Prime Minister James Marape reassured delegates, reassured investors of PNG as a potential destination for investment and development. We have been producing oil and gas since the 1900s. Most of the ever famous gold rush in Wabulolo is a testament or a case in point in our history with mining and also oil and gas, in case some of you think we've been recently an oil and gas nation. Prime Minister Marapa says PNG is expecting positive future projections for growth and stands to reach a 200 billion Kina economy, but it must include local involvement. And one of my compatriots, then member for Como, they made an important principle statement. They said, ExxonMobil, you take my gas and take my people with you. And we will support everything you do. Take my guests and take my people with you. It wasn't a literal statement of taking people with you, but more so to do with bettering our people's life. The next eight years, our economy is supposed to go past 200 million in economy. We are working towards that space. Mines and Petroleum Conference's President Anthony Smare says PNG's resource growth is over 30 million Kina and is expected to grow with new opportunities for the country. Mr. Smare politely expressed to long-time partners like Australia to continue participating in Papua New Guinea's development, but also highlighted future projects that could include China. China is a very important partner of our country. It plays a significant role in our economy, in our economy currently. It has interest in a number of our mining projects, a quarter of Pogra through Zijin, majority interest in Ramu Nickel through MMC, it's also a buyer of much of our current mineral sip output and a, ma- a majority buyer of our LNG production from the PNG LNG. And it will likely be the major buyer of gas from our new LNG developments, Papua, Pinyang, and Pasca. Australia historically has been the dominant international investor in PNG. With the last day of the Mining and Petroleum Conference to conclude tomorrow, and with over 1,300 international executives from the resources, energy, finance and development sectors, a lot of positives will be taken out from the conference's theme, securing the next wave of investments for BNG. Rocky Iso, National NTV News.